One of the common problems that people have with their horse's teeth and one of the sort of things they talk about the most is what's known as wolf teeth. Wolf teeth are vestigial molars um, or premolars. For their an evolutionary throwback, they actually have no real purpose in the horse's mouth uh, and not every horse will get them as such. Um, when horses do develop them, they come in a variety of sizes, shapes, um, lengths in so much as they have more or less of a, a root structure that can mean they're firmer or looser. Um, you can also have displaced wolf teeth which come rostrally displaced and they, and they, don't, in, they, they don't sit tight up to the front of the upper premolars or lower premolars. Um, and they generally have a bad reputation in, in, in equine circles. Here's a good example of a rostrally displaced wolf tooth that is now not tight against the molars. This particular horse had been giving problems throwing its head in the air when pressure was applied to the reins and the owners were looking to try and find a different bit to stop this problem. However, on inspecting the horse's mouth, the cause of the problem became very clear. These wolf teeth, as I've said, are rostrally displaced and so become almost a standalone tooth. Given that wolf teeth are generally shallow rooted, the bit moving up in the horse's mouth will constantly knock against these wolf teeth, loosening them in the gum and causing inflammation, hence causing the horse to throw its head up in pain. So the cause of the problem here is not a bit. The cause is these standalone wolf teeth that are constantly being loosened and causing pain to the horse. You will also see this is a gelding, so it has canine teeth, and we keep talking about not setting the bit so low that it knocks against these teeth as well, because that will also cause the horse problems. We will usually recommend removing the wolf teeth if they are of a size that can be easily removed. Um, this is done in conjunction with or purely by your vet. One of the reasons we will do it is uh, perhaps that it's not a problem that will be immediately obvious to someone and so what we suggest is that they are removed before the riding actually commences so that they never are a problem. If a wolf tooth is perhaps smaller or slightly shallower rooted or something or not as fully developed, when you start riding them with the bit what can happen is that it moves the wolf teeth slightly which is why we advocate having them done before they start being ridden.